Hey guys, welcome back. So this week I'll be reacting to Fifty Shades Darker, the second movie in the Fifty Shades of Grey series. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Good morning, Mr. Hyde. Anna, please, it's Jack. T, right? Week? Black? I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get this for you, but... Thank you. Apparently this is some big company, but Anna just graduated. So how did she get a job here? All right, I'll check it out. Great. Have fun tonight, Anna. Thank you. Thanks for today. Good night, Anna. Hi. <laughs> he looks like he drives a Prius and asks restaurants for their used oil. Oh my God. Jose, this is like so m much of my face in here. But if I had asked, you would have been like, I'm too shy. I would be pissed if someone did this to me. It's really weird and honestly creepy. He took all of these pictures of her, probably some of them without her knowing, and then plastered them all over some art gallery without her consent. I'd be pissed and I'd probably stop being friends with him. I want you back. I'd like to renegotiate terms. Everything he's saying here, the I've changed, I want you back, are all very classic and very basic things that abusers say to win their victims back. And honestly, she's an idiot if she believes him and gets back with him. But I do know there's another movie after this, so she's an idiot and gets back with him. I brought you here to negotiate. You're open to new terms. No rules? No punishments? No! Relationships do not need contracts. This is such an overused trope in movies, especially lately, and it's such a bad trope. It's not good, and it's actually kind of toxic. If it's, you know, contracts are fine if it's like a prenup, that's one thing, that's a whole different thing. But these are contracts for what you can do in your life, in your relationship. You don't need contracts for these things. You just need to have trust and respect for your partner. No rules, no punishments, and no more secrets. After everything he did to her, after everything he put her through, why would she get back with him? Why? Well, I guess we did establish earlier in the video that she is an idiot, so I guess that's why. I mean, that's probably the only reason why, besides the fact that he's rich. Which I am sure plays a very big part in it. Attached. You know, maybe Anna only stays with Christian because he's rich, and she has an English degree. Which is pretty much useless. It's like the most useless degree to get. <laughs> I am trying so hard to get through this movie right now, guys. I'm so bored. The only thing going on is their relationship issues. Nothing else is happening. <laughs> It's so mind-numbingly boring and stupid. Is that who put this together? Is there one on me? Subject works part-time at Clayton's Hardware, Richmond Road. The fact that he has files on every single person he's ever met or spoken to is so disturbing. And it's actually giving off psychopath vibes. There is no need for you to have files on everyone. You put money into my account that I, I don't want it. You bought the company I work for. Something that's bothering me is that if Christian was broke and ugly, all of his abusive and creepy behavior would not be tolerated. But because he's hot and rich, it is, and it's seen as a romance movie because of it. 
but if he was broke and ugly, this would probably be seen as a horror movie about some obsessed stalker. This isn't a relationship, Christian. It's ownership. That's the first smart thing I have ever heard her say in these movies. Congratulations, maybe she's getting a few brain cells, you know? How sexy. <laughs> if I knew that that's how you end an argument in a relationship, then I would have been doing that so long ago. Not. What you did to Christian. All I did was lead him to the truth of who he really is. Why are these movies completely glossing over the fact that he was abused by a pedo? He was abused for probably years of his childhood by her. And it's just a little blip on the movie radar? It's just a little, oh, a little side story. Nothing important. That's honestly probably why he's so messed up as an adult now. And then why is she still walking free? If the roles were reversed, and the pedal was a dude and Christian was a girl, he'd be in jail by now. But is it not seen as an issue because the attacker is a woman? Is that what's going on? Because they're making it seem like it was not a big deal. <laughs> but that's a pretty big deal. And he would say the same. <laughs> and that was the end of it. Do you think you're the first woman he hoped would save him? He needs a submissive in life. Not just in a bedroom. I really don't like how these movies betray BDSM. They make it seem like it's just painful and completely one-sided when that's not at all what it is. BDSM is supposed to be beneficial for all of the parties involved, and it's supposed to be an even field. Everybody's supposed to know and be okay with everything that's going on. BDSM is not just supposed to be pleasurable for the dom. Christian is honestly nothing more than a sexual predator who gets off on people's pain. I just think, I just think. Ew, no. No, no, no. <laughs> why is he so close to her? And why did his voice change into some weird, sultry, menacing tone? <laughs> that was so disturbing. I tell, you've been fired. Whoa. How? That's... You, I, but I thought your deal with SAP hasn't been finished yet. It's not, but I know the CEO. This is the only time I'll be okay with Christian interfering in Anna's life and job. And it's because he got that creep fired, which he absolutely deserved to be fired for. Damn. Wow, <laughs> that was... That was something else. That was disturbing. The way that girl was completely under Christian's control. I would have left him right then and there. Honestly, Anna should dip. <laughs> or that's gonna be her. <laughs> Why would she stay with him after seeing what happened to the other girl? He drove someone insane. And she's just like, oh, whatever. Who cares? He's hot and rich, so mm, it's in the past. No! <laughs> he literally drove someone insane. But you scared me more. Seeing you like that with her. I'll never be able to give you that kind of submission and obedience. What does she mean, give him that? That is not something you're supposed to give someone. You are not supposed to be under somebody's control. Why would she... Honestly, the fact that she feels guilty for that is so twisted. And that honestly just goes to show how Christian has already manipulated her in so many other ways that she feels guilty for that. I'm not a dominant. I'm not. I... The right term is a sadist. I get off punishing women, women who look like you. Like your look mother. I'm sure it's clear by now that I hate Christian's character and these movies in general. But Christian is such an awful character. He's possessive, he's extremely jealous, he stalked Anna, he gives her zero privacy and zero control over her own body. And yet still somehow makes her feel guilty for all of that. 
so I honestly don't get how so many people are obsessed with these movies and consider them romantic movies when they're not. And why so many people see Christian as some amazing person that they would all dream of being in a relationship with when he's a horrible person. He's an abusive, toxic person. All of me. Christian. I'm all yours. <laughs> She gave up so quick. <laughs> she couldn't even stay strong for five minutes. <laughs> that Christian Gray and his colleague Roz Bailey have been found safe and well and are at this moment on their way back to Seattle. Sources How is he already home? <laughs> It was just on the news that they were found, so how did he get there so quickly? And he was in a helicopter crash. He looks perfectly fine. Is this me? Yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'd be like, okay, that's great and all, but where's my gift? It certainly ain't you. <laughs> but that's not the announcement. Anna, come up here a second, please. <laughs> what was that sound? <laughs> what was that sound? Was that edited in after? Or did she actually make that noise? <laughs> so a while ago, I was lucky enough to meet this amazing young woman, Anastasia Steele. And very quickly, I realized that she was the one I wanted to share my life with. I asked her to marry me and she said yes everything felt like it was going really fast in their relationship so I went ahead and looked up how long they've actually been together <laughs> and they've been together for 81 days that's 11.5 weeks that's not even a full year that's not even half a year and they're already getting married what? <laughs> what? It's not even been a year, like at least wait a year. Especially with all the issues they've been having. Their relationship doesn't scream, I'm ready for marriage. It screams, run for the hills. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up. My jokes are terrible. I'll stop. <laughs> But go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you think of these movies and whether or not you actually like them and what you like about them. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!